YouTube, how are you now? So, Call of Duty just released Season 2 for Modern Warfare 3 and Warzone. So I'm just going to be going over the new Time to Kill charts. Uh, they added a couple new guns, the BP-50 Assault Rifle and the Ram 9 SMG. So those I added as well as all the weapon changes too. So just going to go over the Time to Kill charts first, how they change, and then go over the patch notes uh, after we go through the through the time to kill charts. So basically how this works is I just gathered all the stats from in the game and then some outside sources as well. So you have all your weapons, your aim down sight time, your sprint to fire time, reload speed, bullet velocity, rate of fire, your damage per second, uh, your different damage multipliers. So I only include head, upper torso, and lower torso. Other modifiers could be like arms and legs, but I'm just keeping it simple for now. And then the damage values out to each range all the way out to 100 meters. So you got five meters all the way to 100 meters. Uh, so all the weapons here for every class. And this is for multiplayer right now. So this is the new time to kill charts for 150 health, so multiplayer. So basically your time to kill here is in milliseconds. Uh, the fastest time to kill is gonna be highlighted in red. The second fastest is gonna be in orange, out to 50 milliseconds, uh, slower than the fastest. Uh, within 100 milliseconds, the fastest time to kill is going to be yellow. Within 150 is light green. Within 200 is dark green, so on and so forth. So red is best, orange, yellow, decent. Uh, and then once you start getting in green and beyond, it's not as good. So definitely want the, the fastest time to kill weapons there. So the BP-50 assault rifle, the new gun they just added season two. It's really good in multiplayer. Uh, it's the fastest uh, assault rifle time to kill up close with 280 milliseconds to the, either the upper or the lower torso. Uh, pretty fast head time to kill too. Uh, the Holger 5.56 is slightly faster but only by 6 milliseconds so still the fastest killing gun up, up close. Uh, I don't have all the values yet for the extended ranges but up close it should be really really good for assault rifles. It shoots really fast at 857 rounds per minute so good. it has good handling too so fast ADS, fast sprint to fire so definitely meant for the close quarters running gun type. Uh, let's see if there's any other changes here. They did change the Jack Raven kit damage, so but it only changed the headshot time to kill within this range here. So 25 meters out to 40 meters, it made it faster time to kill. So it was 300 milliseconds, now 225, but that's if you're hitting all headshots, not likely, no changes there. So if there are changes, uh, the letters would be in red. Uh, if it's a buff and then gray if it's a it's a nerf so uh, no changes there to battle rifles you've got your smgs here so now the ram 9 the new smg they added here uh, it's a decent smg so it's within 100 milliseconds the fastest time to kill smg wise so it's pretty good not the greatest but it's really good overall because it does have a longer uh, max damage range than some of the faster ones. So like the fastest killing guns here, the WSB Akimbo only goes out to five meters where this damage goes out to 15 meters. So a little more consistent at longer ranges, but not as fast as the fastest killing SMGs up close. Has a really fast fire rate though, 923 rounds per minute. Good handling as well. Uh, slow sprint to fire compared to some of the other, some of the other SMGs, but still pretty fast. I don't think there are any other changes there. Nope, doesn't look like any buffs or nerfs there. No buffs or nerfs here. No buffs or nerfs here. So yeah, that's it for multiplayer. And then Warzone is going to be 300 health. So same thing, all the stats here. And then this is the time to kill charts. 300 health. Uh, let's see if there are any changes. So. We have your BP-50 assault rifle here, pretty decent. It's about the same as like the Ram 7, which was one of the best um, for Warzone for assault rifles. So it's only, well, it's 10, second, 10 milliseconds faster actually um, to the upper torso. So let's make that. And then, yeah, it's 10 milliseconds faster to the body up close, but I don't have all the stats for the longer ranges, but definitely, up there with the Ram 7 up close. We'll have to see how it is at range though. I would assume the damage drops off more considerably since it shoots so fast, 857 compared to 750. But they did nerf the Ram 7 as well at range. It used to be one of the best at range too, but now it's a lot slower. So all this in gray, 
that's well, it was nerfed, so it takes more shots to kill. It slows down the time to kill. So 720 here, 800 here, 960, 1,040, 960, 1,040. So these used to be a lot faster. It used to be a lot better at long range, but now it's not as good beyond 50 meters. So other guns beat it at 50 meters where it used to be really good at all ranges. So now it's more meant for mid-range, close to mid-range. Whereas before it was all around, all around good, so... I don't see any other changes in there. Uh, they did nerf the BASB. So this used to be the fastest at all ranges. So now it's slower here. Headshot 630, whereas it used to be like 540. And 720 here, where it used to be like 630. So Sidewinder now beats it up close. Still pretty good at mid-range. Still pretty good at long range. Just not as good as it was at close range. It used to be the best at every range. So now it's more like mid to long range, but still really good. Uh, what else here? Nothing there, nothing there. See the Ram 9, how it compares here. So very fast time to kill in Warzone. So within 50 milliseconds of the fastest up close to the head and the upper torso. And it is the fastest uh, to the lower body. So very good up close. Let's see if there was any other changes to SMGs here for damage. And no, it doesn't look like it. And then you got your LMGs. So they nerfed the Jack Annihilator bullpup kit. So all this in gray. So now it's slower in those in those ranges. Uh, used to be like 736, used to be 841, used to be 841. So 100 milliseconds plus slower at 40 plus meters. So it's not as good as it was at long range. It wasn't the best at long range anyway, but they nerfed it again. So it's even worse at longer ranges. It's still pretty good, but now it's now it's starting to fall off there. Uh, they did buff the TAC Evolve here, so it used to be pretty terrible. Now it's really good, really good actually up close compared to the other LMG. So it's within 50 milliseconds of the fastest time to kill. And the TAC, Erad TAC Eradicator doesn't actually have a 630 millisecond time to kill because it shoots slower over time. So this is based on the 857 max fire rate. <clears throat> but the Jack uh, Nightshade Rifle Kit for the DG58 has 630. So very fast time to kill out to 30 meters. Not the greatest at mid-range and beyond, but pretty good up close. So used to be terrible all around. So they buffed all the damage. So now it's decent. Decent in Warzone. And it doesn't look like any other changes there. Uh, KVD Enforcer. So they nerfed the headshot damage. So now this is slower. Um, it would be in gray, but since the background is gray it'll just be blank so <laughs> I changed it to black so you can see the time to kill but they did nerf the the headshot uh, multiplier so now it's slower time to kill I think it used to be like 580 something but now it's slower to the head not as good as it was before uh, let's see what else no other changes there uh, they did add a one-shot kill range for the XRK stalker out to 50 about 50 meters so it used to be Two shots, now it's another one-shot headshot capability sniper. So the CAT AMR was the only one before that could one-shot headshot in Warzone. Now the XRK Stalker can as well, but out to 50 meters. The CAT AMR is out to any range. Uh, the XRK is out to 50 meters. So you have an option for closer range sniping if you want that one-shot headshot in the XRK Stalker now. And then let's see what else. And they did buff the... WSP Stinger uh, handgun, pistol, whatever, as well. So this is a new time to kill, but all the other ones are like burst guns, so didn't really do the time to kill comparison there. So those are the new time to kill charts. Just go through all of them again, show you all the changes here. So anything in red, the letters are going to be buffs. Anything in gray, the letters is going to be nerfs. So they did change little things here and there, but nothing too crazy. Not too much actually affected time to kills dramatically, other than like the tacky evolve here. But they did bring a lot of the other weapons more in line with some of the the rest of the class weapons. So let's go through all the changes real quick here. So weapons and attachments, uh, they decrease melee lunge distance of all Modern Warfare 3 weapons to align with Modern Warfare 2. Increased movement speeds of all Modern Warfare 2 weapons to align with Modern Warfare 3 standards and added gun kick control and recoil control benefits and tactical stance for all weapons. 
So for the assault rifles, the Holger 556, they increased aim down sight time from 260 to 270, so slightly slower ADS. MCW increased aim down sight time from 240 to 265, increased sprint to fire time from 241 to 252. Uh, the Jack Raven kit, they increased maximum damage from 31 to 33, decreased minimum medium damage from 23 to 22, and decreased minimum damage from 22 to 20. They decreased maximum damage range from 20.3 to 19.8, so negligible change there, only 0.5 meters. Increased near medium damage range from 29 to 35.6, so that was a pretty good increase, 6.5 meters. Increased medium damage range from 40.6 to 40 45.7, so another decent increase. They increased the headshot damage multiplier from 1.4 to 1.5, and they increased the lower torso damage multiplier from 1.01 .01 to 1.1 so that it's going to give you a lot more damage to the lower torso than before I think that I think that matches with um, yeah that matches with the upper torso so lower and upper is going to be the same same damage there uh, they decreased hip fire spread while sliding and decreased recoil and gun kicks significantly and this is for modern warfare 2 multiplayer so war zone is going to be next one uh, battle rifles, the BASB increased sprint to fire time from 231 to 252, increased aim down sight time from 260 to 270, increased hip fire spread minimum from 2.3 degrees to 2.9 degrees, so nerfs all around for the BASB on handling and hip fire. Slide wider, increased bullet velocity from 540 to 600, decreased recoil and gun kick significantly, so used to have pretty hard recoil, we'll have to see how it is now, if it was enough to make it decent or not. Jack Thunder LMG kit increased delay before accelerated rate of fire begins to decay from 200 milliseconds to 500 milliseconds. Decreased accelerated rate of fire decay rate from 300 RPM to 240 RPM. Increased gun kick control and recoil control by 35%. So quite a quite a big recoil uh, boost there. I don't really know what this one means. Increased delay before accelerated rate of fire begins to decay from 200 to 500. I'm not really sure what that means. Uh, the TAC V for Modern Warfare 2 increased maximum damage range from 35.6 to 43.2, increased near to medium damage range from 48.3 to 55.9. Submachine guns, the striker increased near to medium damage range from 19.1 to 21.6, increased medium damage range from 25.4 to 27.9, so slight buffs to damage range. AMR 9, the Jack Eden double barrel kit added missing hip fire cross here. WSP-9 decreased aim down sight time from 240 to 220, increased maximum damage range from 16.5 to 18.5, increased near to medium damage range from 22.9 to 25.1. So buffs all around there, little buffs here and there. Nothing crazy, but decent. Broodmother 45 kit decreased aim down sight time from 270 to 241, decreased movement speed penalties by 50%. So that's pretty significant buff to movement. Should be able to move around a lot better now with that 45 kit. Shotguns, Lockwood 680, Lockwood Defender Heavy Long Barrel, increased sprint fire time penalty from 8% to 30%, so a lot more sprint to fire penalty there. KV Broadside Modern Warfare 2 gun, decreased sprint to fire time from 210 to 189, decreased aim down sight time from 330 to 240, so pretty big buffs there on the handling. Light Machine Guns, TAC Eradicator, increased sprint to fire time from 210 to 252, increased aim down sight time from 330 to 340, so nerfs there on handling. The Rail MG from Modern Warfare 2, decreased sprint to fire time from 216 to 199, decreased aim down sight time from 390 to 330, so pretty big buffs there for handling on that MG. 556 Icarus, Modern Warfare 2, decreased sprint to fire time from 250 to 235, so pretty small change there. RPK, decreased aim down sight time from 410 to 380. That's pretty significant, but still pretty slow. Marksman Rifles, MCW 6.8, decreased aim down sight time from 271 to 245. So buff to the ADS, decreased all damage ranges by 18%, so nerf to the, all the ranges. Decreased bullet velocity from 1,016 to 930, so nerf to the velocity as well. Decreased hip fire spread minimum from 5 degrees to 4.1 degrees. Decreased hip fire spread maximum from 12.1 degrees to 10 degrees so buffs to the hip fire but nerfs to the other stuff dm56 
decreased near to medium damage from 42 to 41, decreased minimum damage from 39 to 38. So small changes there on the, uh, not the max damage, but other damagers. MTZ interceptor increased sprint to fire time from 252 to 262, increased aim down sight time from 265 to 280, decreased neck damage multiplier from 1.62 to 1. So slower handling, and then that neck damage is not going to give you that high damage um, like the headshot, because I believe it was the same as the headshot multiplier. Was it the KVD enforcer? No, nope, MTZ interceptor. So yeah. You used to be able to one shot uh, to the neck. Now it's not going to be that 153 damage. So it's going to take two shots to the neck. You used to be able to one shot to the head or the neck. Now it's only to the head. So that should make it slightly less useful. Uh, SPR 208 decreased maximum damage range from 19.6 to 13. Increased upper arm damage multiplier from 1.15 to 1.5. So less range, but more damage to the arms, upper arms. Damage multiplier increase allows for one-shot kills to the upper arm. Okay, so you can one-shot to the upper arm now. With the SPR-208, nice. Lockwood MK2 Modern Warfare 2 increased maximum damage from 110 to 125. Decreased maximum damage range from 8.9 to 6.4. Damage increase allows for one-shot kills to the upper torso within the maximum damage range. So, upper torso within 6.4 meters. <laughs> Not very far, but at least you can one shot the upper torso. I don't think you would be able to before, huh? Yeah. Used to not be able to, now you can, but very short range. LMS MW2 decreased intensity of aim down sight, idle sway. SAB 50 in Modern Warfare 2 increased maximum damage from 110 to 120. Decreased maximum damage range from 14.2 to 10.4. Damage increase allows for one shot kills to the upper torso within the maximum damage range. Okay, so you used to not be able to do one shot to the upper torso, but now you can, but they decrease the range from 14 meters to 10 meters. So within 10 meters, you can do one shot to the upper torso. Whereas before you couldn't at all. Sniper rifles, longbow decreased aim down sight time from 550 to 520. Signal 50, Modern Warfare 2 decreased maximum damage range from 48.5 to 35.9. So that's pretty significant range decrease there. SPX 80, Modern Warfare 2 increased aim down sight time from 521 to 545. So Minimal changes there. Handguns, Renetti, Jack Frosty, Carbine Kit. Decreased movement speed penalties by 50%, so should be able to move around much better now with that uh, conversion kit. Basilisk, Modern Warfare 2, increased maximum damage range from 6.9 to 8.4. Increased near to medium damage range from 15.2 to 22.9. Increased medium damage range from 22.9 to 35.1. Increased far to medium damage range from 35.1 to 41.9. Increased lower torso damage multiplier from 1 to 1 1.2 times. Damage range increase allows for one-shot kills to the head at a further distance. So yeah, not sure if it's only one-shot headshot capable within the max damage range, because that would be a pretty small increase to the range, but maybe it's one of the other ranges too. So those got bigger buffs, but maximum damage range, not very big difference there. Launcher's Stormender addressed an issue preventing some kill streaks from being destroyed and or disabled. So it wasn't working before, but now they fixed whatever was wrong with it. Uh, all the melee weapons, they decreased the melee lunge distance by 30% on all the Modern Warfare 2. And a couple of the Modern Warfare 3 weapons. Attachments, Jack BFB muzzle kit. Decreased gun kick control benefit from 60 to 55%. Decreased vertical recoil control. Benefit from 40 to 35 percent. Increase aim down sight time penalty from 12 percent to 15 percent. Increase sprint to fire time penalty from 11 percent to 14 percent. Increase aim walking speed penalty from 14 percent to 70 percent. Added 18 percent bullet velocity penalty. So, Jack BFE muzzle kit had very high upsides. Still pretty good as far as the upside. It's just not as good as it was before. But more penalties, so less benefit and slightly more penalties. And just got field upgrades, so I'm not going to go over those. And then let's go to Warzone. Weapon adjustments. We've reduced the recoil on all weapons while using them in tax stance. A number of improvements have been made to Modern Warfare 2 weapons. Assault rifles increase movement speed while aiming down sights. Battle rifles increase movement speed while aiming down sights and while crouched. 
Marksman rifles increase movement speed while aiming down sights and while crouched. Light machine guns increase movement speed while aiming down sight while crouched and while strafing. And sniper rifles increase movement speed while aiming down sight while crouched and while strafing. Modern warfare two guns though. Assault rifles, Ram 7, mid damage reduced to 24 down from 28, minimum damage reduced to 22 down from 25. So that, yeah, that made it slower time to kill at the longer ranges. Still really good up close, but not as good as it was at longer ranges, whereas it used to be good all around. MCW, increase aim down sight time to 265, up from 240, increase sprint to fire time to 252, up from 241, nerfs to handling. Holger 556 increased aim down sight time to 270, up from 260, so very minor nerf. TR 76 Geist, that's a Modern Warfare 2 gun. Headshot damage modifier reduced to 1.25, down from 1.3. It's not going to be doing as much damage to the head. Or upper torso modifier increased to 1.15, up from 1.05, and arm and hand damage modifier increased to 1.15, up from 0.96. So you're going to be doing more damage to the upper torso, quite a bit more damage to the hand and arms, but less damage to the head with the TR-76 guys. Battle Rifles, BASB, max damage reduced to 30, down from 35. So that decreased, uh, or that increased the time to kill for the BASB up close by one shot. So used to be the fastest. Now it's not the fastest up close, but it's still pretty good. Just not as good as it was before. So they've nursed it a few times and it's still really good, but it used to be the best by a, a large margin. So bringing it more in line with some other weapons. Increased sprint to fire time to 252 up from 231. Increased aim down sight time to 270 up from 260. Increased hip fire spread minimum to 2.9 degrees up from 2.3 degrees. So nerfs all around there. MTZ 762 semi-auto damage override has been removed. The weapon now does the same damage in semi-auto as it does in automatic. So it used to do more damage in semi-auto, so now it's going to do the same damage in semi or or automatic. So I don't think they increase the damage; they just decrease the damage on semi-auto. Sidewinder increased bullet velocity to 600 meters per second, up from 540. Decreased recoil and gun kick significantly, so it should be better to use there. Jack Leonard LMG kit increased delay before accelerated fire, so begins to decay to 500 milliseconds up from 200 milliseconds decreased accelerated rate of fire decay to 240 mil rpms down from 300 rpms increased gun kick control and recoil control by 35 percent so same as uh, multiplayer changes there smg's hrm9 max damage range reduced to 12.9 down from 16.5 so you lose almost four meters on the max damage wsp9 max damage range increased to 18 meters up from 16.5, so small change there. Near to medium damage range increased to 26.7, up from 22.9, so about 5 meters, 4 meters, not bad. Decrease aim down sight time to 220, down from 240, so small changes there. Brood Mother 45 kit decreased aim down sight time to 241, down from 270, decreased movement speed penalties by 50%, so same as multiplayer. Much better movement, but otherwise just small, small changes there. Shotguns Lockwood 680. Mid damage reduced to 30 down from 44. Defender heavy long barrel. Increased sprint to fire time penalty to 30% up from 8%. So big penalty there. Haymaker 12 gauge Dragon's Breath max damage range would decrease to 2.9 down from 3.5. Near to mid damage range decreased to 4.1 down from 4.8. So small damage range decrease. Riveter near to mid damage range reduced to 5.5 down from 6.3. Small change there, 4.10. 410 gauge incendiary max damage range decreased to 2.5 down from 3. Near to mid damage range decreased to 3.3 down from 3.8. So small nerfs again. All the ranges. Bryson 890, Modern Warfare 2. Mid damage range reduced to 10.4 down from 13.2. KV broadside Modern Warfare 2 decreased sprint to fire time to 189 down from 210. Decreased aim down sight time to 240 down from 330. So Buffs to the handling there, Lockwood 300, Modern Warfare 2, 12 gauge, Dragon's Breath, max damage range decreased to 2.6, down from 3.3, near to mid damage range decreased to 5.3, down from 7.1, so just range decreases again. MX Guardian, Modern Warfare 2, 12 gauge, Dragon's Breath, max damage range decreased to 2.9, down from 3.5, near to mid damage range decreased to 4.8, down from 
5.5. So all the Dragon's Breath got reduced ranges. LMG's Pull Yacht 762, the Jack Annihilator Bullpup Kit, near to mid damage set to 32. This is a new damage range, near to mid damage range set at 31 or 38.1. This is a new damage. Min damage reduced to 30 down from 34. So yeah. Makes it not as good as it was at longer ranges, even though it wasn't the best, but now it's worse at longer ranges. Attack Evolve here. Max damage increased to 34, up from 26. Max damage range reduced to 30.5, down from 45.8. Near to mid damage, 29, that's new. Near to mid damage range, 45.8, that's new. Min damage increased to 26, up from 20. So buffs all around, uh, makes it much faster, time to kill wise, than it was before it used to be terrible. So now it's decent, pretty good up close. Not the greatest at range, but pretty good up close. Attack Eradicator, increase spent fire time to 252, up from 210, increase aim down sight time to 340, up from 330, so nerfs to handling. 556 five, Icarus, Modern Warfare 2, decrease spent fire time to 235, down from 250. Buff there, slight buff. Rail MG, Modern Warfare 2, decrease spent fire time to 199, down from 216, decrease aim down sight time to 330, down from 390, so buffs there to handling as well. RPK, Modern Warfare 2, decrease aim down sight time to 380, down from 410. Small buff there. Marksman Rifles, KVD Enforcer, decrease headshot multiplier to 1.4, down from 1.8. So, where is that at KVD Enforcer? Yeah, so that slowed down the time to kill. Used to be around 500 something. Now it's 779, so not as good as it was. Headshots. MTZ Interceptor, increase sprint fire time to 262, up from 252, increase aim down sight time to 280, up from 265, so slower handling, decreased neck multiplier to 1.0, down from 162. So again, not going to get that head damage to the neck anymore. So 561 to the head, used to be able to get 561 to the neck, but now it's going to be 841 to the neck too. So not as fast to the head or neck, not as forgiving, so you got to go for those headshots because the neck doesn't count anymore. MCW 6.8, decreased aim down sight time to 245, down from 271. And decreased hip fire spread minimum to 4.1, down from 5. Decreased hip fire spread maximum to 10 degrees, down from 12.1. So buffs there. Decreased bullet velocity to 930, down from 1016. Nerf there. LMS, Modern Warfare 2, reduced intensity of aim down sight, idle sway. Crossbow, Modern Warfare 2, neck damage multiplier increased to 3, up from 1.2. So that's Quite a huge increase there. Lower limb damage multipliers increased to 1, up from 0.9, so small there. We've standardized the hit location on the crossbow by making the profile more even and widening the one-shot location of the head to include the neck. So yeah, one shot to the neck now, whereas it used to not be before. Sniper rifles. XRK Stalker, now one shot down to the head within its max damage range. Max damage range increased to 50 meters. So again, one shot headshot with the XRK out to 50 meters. So now you can have another sniper rifle that can one shot headshot besides the cat AMR, but only out to 50 meters. Cat AMR is to any range. XRK is for within 50 meters. Longbow, Modern Warfare 3, minimum damage reduced to 73, down from 75. Decreased aim down sight time to 520, down from 550. So buff to the ADS, but a nerf to the minimum damage, so the long range damage. I don't think that actually changed the... Yeah, they didn't change the shots to kill or the time to kill. But... Less damage. Mm, I think it did actually. Longbow. Hmm. Yeah, I think it did make it slower. Against the lower torso. Yeah. So this should be grayed out, but again, since it's black, it would say this. So this is actually slower than it was before. At long range, lower torso is going to be less less damage, so more shots to kill, slower time to kill. Signal 50, Modern Warfare 2, near to mid damage range reduced to 62.3, down from 67.4. SPX 80, Modern Warfare 2, increased aim down sight time to 545, up from 521, so small nerf there for both of those. Handguns, Renetti, Jack Frosty, Carbine Kit. Reduce movement speed penalties by 50%, so pretty significant there. Definitely better movement with that conversion kit. WSP Stinger, 
max damage increased to 24 up from 20 near to mid damage increased to 22 up from 16 min damage increased to 20 up from 14 so yeah that made it faster time to kill for the wsb stinger hand handgun 50 gs modern warfare 2 max damage increased to 78 up from 72 so that's going to take less shots to kill Baseless Modern Warfare 2 lower dam lower torso damage modifier increased to 1.2 up from 1.0, so more damage to the lower torso with the Baselisk. Melee, decreased melee lunge distance by 30% on all these Modern Warfare 2 knives, melees, and then two of the Modern Warfare 3, the gutter knife and the karambit. Same changes to the Jack BFB, so increased penalties. Uh, slightly and decreased benefits slightly and we just got perks there so yeah that's it for the weapons season two still got to unlock the new uh conversion kit for the weekly challenge and haven't actually used any of the new guns yet because you have to unlock them in the battle pass but once i get them unlocked i'll upload the stats and keep updating the chart yeah it's always a work in progress because they're always changing things um and then the stats in game are only so so helpful as well. They only go out to the, the first damage range, so they don't give you all the ranges and all that. So I have to get the stats from other other sources who test in game, so like true game data, exclusive ace, all those guys. So definitely check those guys out. They're doing they're doing the work, you know. If only only the game had all the stats you needed, but it's nice that they have some. Definitely makes it a lot easier, but it would be nice if they had all of them. But yeah. That's it for this. I'll leave a link in the description for uh, this time to kill chart as well as the patch notes for both multiplayer and Warzone. But yeah, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.